Welcome back to Wayne TV. I'm Joel Gilley. I am joined today by a very special guest. We have Commissioner Mike Causey. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you today, and, and you're here on a, a grand tour of Wayne County today. Uh, but this isn't your first time here. It seems like That's over right. the past month you've been here quite a few times. We've been here quite a few times, and it's always been great to be back in Wayne County and helping our volunteer fire departments. And, and so talk a little bit about what you and your organization do, because, you know, like we were talking a little bit before we started, Without the volunteer fire departments, a lot of these local communities wouldn't be what they are, and you guys help a lot of them so That's much. Right. Well, I am uh, I serve as the state fire marshal. In North Carolina, if you're elected insurance commissioner, you have a dual role as a state fire marshal. So it's an honor and privilege for me to do that and work for the people and travel this state. I made a commitment when I was elected commissioner to get out of Raleigh as much as I could <laughs> and visit all 100 counties. And I have made official visits in all 100 counties in well under two years. We, wow. we would have done it in a year and a half, but Hurricane Florence slowed us slowed down. Slowed down a little bit. <laughs> uh, and we've had the privilege of being in Wayne County and Jones County and, and Lenore numerous times over the past year or so. And a lot of that was to help their funding with grants from matching grants to uh, the Blue Cross and Blue Shield outright grant. Uh, so what a lot of people may not realize is, is that there is a great matching grant program for volunteer fire departments where a lot of these volunteer fire departments may not be able to operate and might cease to exist if they don't have this help from you. That's very true. And I've, I've heard so many department chiefs tell me, had it not been for these matching grants, their doors would have closed years ago. So it is important that people understand the importance of our matching grant program and talk to your state senators and state representatives that they really need to support an increase in the funding for our matching grants. Uh, the limit for a fire department is $30,000. So if your volunteer fire department wants to get that grant check for $30,000, they first have to raise $30,000, yeah. which is very difficult in these times. And this year, we gave out uh, close to $8.5 million in matching grants wow. across the state. Wayne County received $220,000 in matching grants, but yet we had... 150 to 200 volunteer fire departments that were left out because there was not enough money to go around. Yeah, and I want you to talk a little bit about that, about the importance of the local volunteer fire departments. You know, it's one of those things where it kind of seems like now recruitment is becoming more difficult for these volunteer fire departments. Talk about some of the struggles. Well, that... our volunteer fire departments, for the most part, are struggling. They're struggling to recruit volunteers. They're struggling to retain volunteers. And in some of these counties where the population is actually declining, people are moving out, they're not moving in, it's extremely difficult. So we have programs in high schools like junior firefighter programs, fire academies, uh, things of this nature uh, to, en to encourage uh, volunteers. We're doing things at the state level uh, like giving uh, benefits and perks for people yeah. that are willing to devote their time to being volunteers. Uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield just donated $2 million to our community college system to pay for firefighter education, uh, That's awesome. books and tuition. Uh, Blue Cross also donated $500,000 that our office administered as outright grants, so we gave 100 of the neediest, poorest, smallest fire departments in this state $5,000 each, and that included some here, two here in Wayne County. That's great. Uh, it's probably one of those things you never thought you were going to be involved in going for commissioner of insurance, right? <laughs> that That is very true. Well, you, you don't realize the extent of the importance yeah. of a volunteer fire department. It's the hub of every community. And this is something that, that people really should think about. How your local fire department is rated has a direct bearing on what you pay for homeowners insurance in that fire district. Absolutely. Uh, quick little plug, there's plenty of volunteer fire departments here in Wayne County, so if you're interested, reach out to your local volunteer <laughs> fire department and go ahead and sign up. Uh, Commissioner Cause, anything else we need to talk about today, sir? Well, I do want to thank the uh, United States Department of Agriculture, their Rural Development Program. Uh, we're traveling with them today. 
they've done incredible work in helping communities all across North Absolutely. Carolina. And the amount of money they put into these small towns and communities uh, pales in comparison, uh, what we do pales in comparison to, to what they do, but we all work together as teamwork. Uh, I'm reaching out to insurance companies uh, like Blue Cross did to help, help our fire departments. Uh, AT&T just donated $25,000 to a firefighter scholarship fund for awesome. firefighter children uh, to, to go to college. So all of those things are extremely important. Uh, the work of groups like the Golden Leaf Foundation and the uh, electric co-ops that do so much to help, help our fire departments, I really appreciate the partnership. That's awesome. A lot of great things happening right now for the Volunteer Fire right. Service. Commissioner Causey, thank you so much for stopping thank by you. today. We appreciate and, uh, it. Thank you for what you do, and I appreciate the chance to, to get back here. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Okay.